after the Jonathan Majors controversy and eventual arrest, all the discussions surrounding what are they going to do to him? Are they going to recast him? Are they going to move on from him? What will Marvel do? The last thing that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios wanted was yet another actor being hit with some sort of allegations like this. But unfortunately for them, that's exactly what happened. Just a few days ago, Black Panther star Tenoch Huerta, the person who plays Namor, even though it's not really Namor, they don't even say his name right in this movie. And of course, they change it for identity politics purposes. But he was hit with some very serious allegations himself. Black Panther 2 star Tenoch Huerta accused of sexual assault. Now, of course, that immediately went viral. That made the rounds. It was made. The allegations were made by someone who is a fairly prominent person themselves. They're a saxophonist. They are also a major activist. And that brought up a lot of red flags for people, certainly. And in the current era, we've seen men lie about what happened. We've seen women lie about what happened to them. Everyone is always going to be very skeptical when any of these things come out. Yet it's not something that Marvel or Disney wants in the headlines. Well, he has responded. After going through the news cycle, after having his name drugged through the mud, he is coming out and saying these are lies. Now, I certainly wouldn't expect him to say anything other than that. I wouldn't expect his legal team to have him say anything other than that. But he is now coming out and saying that what she says is manufactured, that their entire relationship was completely consensual. Marvel's Namor star breaks silence on assault allegation. Mexican saxophonist and renowned activist Maria Elena Rios claimed the Marvel star was a, quote, violent and sexual predator while accusing Huerta of assault, not just her, but several more people. I haven't seen any of those people come forward just for the record. The actor is seemingly said to be a major part of the MCU story going forward with his Namor character playing heavily in Marvel Comics for years. Following allegations, Black Panther Wakanda Forever actor Tenoch Huerta released a statement calling the accusation false and completely unsubstantiated. I'm going to read the quotes here. A false and completely unsubstantiated allegation about me has spread like wildfire, and I cannot let it go unchallenged any longer. About a year ago, I dated Elena for several months. It was entirely consensual as at all times, as countless others can attest. And throughout it was a loving, warm, and mutually supportive relationship. After it ended, Elena began to misrepresent our interactions both privately and in front of groups or mutual friend of mutual friends. Um, listen, I think everyone's probably been in a relationship that may have been similar to that. Maybe somebody didn't want it to end. Maybe afterwards they start saying some things that are completely one-sided, completely untrue. But once it gets to the point of leveling accusations like that in public, that is an entirely different story. And that's what Maria, whatever her last name is, I don't remember. I, I got to find it. The saxophonist. I don't want to just forget her name. Ma Maria Elena Rios. That's what she claimed. He noted that since the two broke things off, he's engaged a legal team to commence the appropriate actions to protect my reputation. False accusations like this can cause great prejudice and damage. Uh, although I'm by no means perfect, I know these allegations are simply untrue. While I always work to improve myself, I need to contest claims that are both false and offensive. I'm deeply grateful to my family and the people who supported me and greatly appreciate everyone who's willing to look at the facts and reflect before rushing to an untrue and unjust conclusion. Now, as I said, when I initially made the, the video reporting on this stuff, we have no idea what's true or what isn't. We've seen false accusations before. We've seen men lie. We've seen women lie about this stuff. The hashtag Me Too era, the hashtag Believe All Women, that is not a thing for most people. Let's just be real because they've seen too many times where women have said something and it's been proven untrue. However... That doesn't mean that this is still not a massive headache for him and for Marvel. This woman, if it is a false allegation, you're going to have to do a lot to prove that it's false. At the same token, even if you did, even if she did retract something, in some way, there's always going to be those people that never believe Tenoch Huerta, that never believe that that's the case. Also... We also have to factor in, he could be completely fucking lying. He could be bullshitting everybody. Why would you say anything different? You wouldn't say anything different even if it was the case that you did do those things she's accusing you of. I said in the beginning that I would like when I look at her social media profile and I see the activism stuff, I see all that stuff, I am almost inherently inclined to question what she says, especially for the reasons that she said it, because it was against another organization that she, she says, they didn't pay me for my podcast appearance, and also they're protecting a predator, who I just now happened to reveal that that's who Tenoch Huerta was. Either way, this entire thing is a nasty mess for Marvel Studios, fresh on the heels of all the Jonathan Major stuff. Just more bad news for Marvel and for Disney, and it looks like this might end up sticking 
staying in the headlines for quite some time. What do you guys think about this entire thing? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.